Bridge Bridge, the line has snapped. We got a net. Over. Bridge, we have started to retrieve the net. So the Sam Simon has been used for long-range campaign in Antarctica, which means we've got the ability to stay at sea for a very long period of time. We have the fuel, we can stock the food, and we have the crew, which means on this campaign is very important because illegal activity is happening all the time, every night. So if we don't have to go back to port to refuel and resupply, it means we are a lot more efficient because we are constantly out there fighting any illegal activity. Since December, the Sam Simon alongside the Farley Mowat has located and retrieved over 100 nets. And when we're pulling in these nets, it really keeps you determined and your fire burning to pull them in and keep them permanently out of the water so that these beings can have a chance at life in their natural environment. Every alive animal that we manage to free back in the ocean is what allow us and motivate us to keep going and to keep working hard as we are to get this water safe. The amount of dead animals that we have to face every day when we pull up those nets is absolutely devastating. We see dead seals, dead whales, dead dolphins, dead rays, pretty much everything that inhabits these waters is caught in those nets. And seeing the devastation and these illegal gill nets are causing this to this ecosystem is what really makes it vital for Sea Shepherd to be here and act to make sure that this, this, the Gulf of California is going to be protected and the uh, Vaquita Refuge is going to be a refuge indeed. This campaign is so important because really all efforts are needed if we want to save the vaquitas and actually the ecosystem in Baja California as a whole. The vaquita is a key species, so if we manage to save them, we automatically protect other species such as seals, whales or the totoaba. We are the last line of defense for the vaquita. Every day that we are not out there is a day closer to their extinction.